Hello everyone and welcome back to some uh, Chelsea career mode. Now, in the last episode, if you didn't see it, we ended up signing a couple of crucial players, which I thought were pretty damn good. Now, in this episode, there are a couple of preseason friendlies, so the episode is slightly longer. Um, I did seem the fr uh, the preseason friendly, so watch out for that because I don't really normally play preseason. Um, I don't really see the point in playing preseason. Uh, pre but anyway, I wanted to inquire about a left back, and the reason being is because Ashley Coles, yeah, is an amazing player, but he's coming to the age of where he starts to downgrade and and um, lose the overalls and things. And I know we have like Ryan Bertrand as well, and Bertrand is an is is good. I think he's he's going to improve quite a bit. He may hit like the eighty mark, maybe a little bit more. But um, I wanted to get that centre back, uh, the left back. Sorry, that is is going to improve or is already an amazing player. Now I did look into Jordi Alba because he's twenty three, he's eighty two overall, very very quick. But he's recently moved to the club. And, uh, but he won't move again. But Alaba there, um, who's 20, 79 overall. I know how good he gets. I know he becomes a tank. But I offered 7 million for him. Um, I know the uh, executive, I uh, know the assistant, offered like 7.7, .7, between 7.7 .7 and 8 point something. I can't quite remember. But um, I wanted to go ahead and offer uh, 7 million for him and see what that done for us. Now, I was looking for the squad. Okay, I was looking to see who I need. What uh, positions do I want to strengthen up and seal of that? Now, I do have a defensive mid of Romeu in this um, in the squad at the moment because he's like the de best defensive mid. Other than like Lampard uh, is good. Okay, he's an amazing player in, in real life and in the game. Okay, his shot is incredible, um, but he's not very quick. His stamina is not very good anymore because he's older. But then I did want to get any anyway. But if you saw in the last episode, um, I put an offer of 7.5 million and Denver Bar for Sergio Busquets. And we ended up picking him up. He's obviously gone up to uh, 24 years old since the last episode because I seemed a few um, a few days. But he, he wanted 100,000 a week, I believe, for four years, I think. Um, and I, I was willing to go ahead and give him that because we had quite a bit of uh, wage budget anyway. And um, I'll gladly go ahead and do that. So that pa Palamo, Palamo, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure where they're from. But uh, they did go ahead and offer for Davila Louise, And I wasn't really willing to, uh, of giving him away for what they offered. I think it was like 8 million, something like that. So I ended up uh, giving a counter for 20 million. And I knew that was, wasn't going to happen. So they declined it. And um, yeah, I was quite glad with that. Now an offer did come in for check. And um, they did a, a go ahead and decide to match it, which I was kind of surprised with. Um, but Czech is a good player as well. His he's goalkeeping skills is fantastic in the game as well. But he's another one of those players that will slightly de uh, degrade, downgrade now, and uh, which is kind of upsetting because he's amazing. But if you did see the first episode, the first thing I'd done in this career mode was literally call back Courtois because I know how much of a tank Courtois will be. Um, but anyway, Sergio Busquets... Uh, comes back and he actually declines that offer which sucked and I ended up uh, putting in I think 112,000 because we had um, uh, 100 we have 52,000 left remaining after the 100,000 so I wanted to get rid of that extra 2,000 and um, so yeah I ended up just trying to offer him that but they come back I can't remember what they quite said about it but I ended up offering him back I think um, seven point. Uh, what what you can see there? I know offering about just under eight million um pounds, which is quite a bit of money. Uh, but I don't think they did accept that. But anyway, we're coming up to our first preseason game now, and um, I, I was quite looking forward to it. Uh, just seeing who how these players will play within the game and stuff. And uh, as you can see there, Fulham did actually go ahead, and uh. They, the transfer talks were broken down. They obviously couldn't come to a an agreement on the contract terms, which was a good thing. It was kind of more like a relief, uh, which is all right. But Roma ended up coming in with a bid for Denver Bar, and at this point, I actually forgot that um, he was part of the deal with Sergio Busquets. But um, I ended up putting in, I think it was 12.5 million or something around those lines. I can't remember. These were all, um, well, two the past two episodes. This episode and yesterday's episode were uploaded in one day. <laughs> but I ended up, uh, yeah, 12.5 million. And they actually go ahead and accept that. But uh, like I said, I forgot that um, Sergio Sketz was he was part of the deal for that, which was kind of upsetting because I wouldn't I would have loved to get twelve point five million for him. But um, yeah, it, it was it was all right. But anyway, we go ahead and head into our first preseason friendly against that Cent I team. The the person uh, the team with the Bami Yang in. Um, they actually have a really really good squad, uh, which is kind of. Looking forward to because it's a good test for the likes of Rodrigo, Hazard, uh, Moses, who I definitely want to play because I know how good he is. 
but Cole ends up going ahead and getting us the goal, which kind of surprised me. I was like, hmm, maybe maybe I don't want to get rid of him, or maybe I, I do want to keep playing him. But Ramirez actually gets red carded, which was upsetting, but a goal from Mata straight away, um, and also a penalty kick from Hazard uh, gives us a 3-0 win against them, which is very, very good. But so just gets actually accepts um, 112,000 a week, uh, which I was really, really uh, glad with. I know that's quite a bit, but uh, Sergio Busquets is going to be a tank of a player. So I was really, really glad. And Milan actually came in with a bid of 7.5 million for uh, Petacek, but I, I wasn't really willing to give it. And I ended up putting 14 million back. And the only reason that I ended up doing that more than what um, I think it was Fulham uh, did was because I know Milan have a little bit more money than Fulham. Um, so... I was, uh, if they wanted him, they'd have to pay that a little bit more. But I did, I do believe that they actually declined that. But anyway, we end up going to put um, uh, try and find a Busquets and actually put him on the pitch in this preseason game, which is good because I was looking forward to see how he plays as well. And I was also looking for my team of who else I could put up for sale and um, whether there's any other people as well that need to go on loan or anything uh, like that. But I think my team's actually looking pretty solid. There's a few players that I'm still waiting to go on loan. The likes of all of the really young players, like 16 to 18-year-olds, I'd love to put on loan, like Aki, um, Musonda, I believe, both of them. <laughs> I'd love to put them on loan and just to get some some experience in their overalls to gain just quite a few, like a, a couple of the overalls, just to see whether they're actually any good or not. But um, the news actually go, went ahead and said that there may be competition for Mata after buying Sergio Busquets. And I was like, no, no they won't, because obviously... Um, they play in two separate positions. They could play in the same position, I take, uh, I suppose, but I'm going to play them both on, a, on the pitch at the same time, which I was glad for because I do not want to get rid of Mata. Mata's 26 and um, is a quality player. I think he's overall 86, so I want to see how he gets. I've never really used him in manager mode before, uh, and I want to see how good he gets. But anyway, we have our second friendly against Brest, or or uh, Brest, or however you pronounce it, and we end up having... Uh, conceding the goal in the 29th minute, putting us 1-0 down, and then we actually concede again in the 59th minute, which is kind of upsetting because at this point I was like, well, it is only a preseason game, but I would like the team that we have to, to perform much better than what they actually are. But we ended up uh, taking a loss in that one, which was kind of, which was which was bad. I wasn't really fussed, but it, just for the sake that it was a friendly. Um, but other than that, it, it wasn't too bad. Now, I would actually love to go ahead and try and offer for Alaba, but as you can see, I had minus 10,000 after offering uh, 50,000 for him because I didn't have enough wage budget. But um, I ended up, uh, Milan did counter offer with an 11 million bid for Czech, and I counted back saying 12.5 million, the same as Fulham, and uh, but they declined it. They said that's too much. No, we're not willing to buy the one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League for, for that amount. So I just thought, okay. Um, that's fair enough, but we do end up going into try and find another left back who's up to 24, I believe, um, for up to 40,000 a week. And there's quite a few that actually uh, kind of caught my eye. There's the likes of Alexandro, who's actually going to be, I think, amazing. Kieran Gibbs as well, who's good, um, but I don't think Arsenal will sell him to me for, for fairly cheap. I know I have 24 million, but... Uh, uh, it's still quite difficult. But anyway, I end up putting in a bid for Alexandro now. I'd be really, really glad if I was to get him, to pick him up um, and bring him to Chelsea. But uh, yeah, I did end up putting in a 7 million bid and Maluda because I'd like to get rid of Maluda. He's 32, 31 or 32 now, um, which is quite bad because I know that I, I would never play him anyway. Um, I don't think he'll suit the way that I play. But we end up having another friendly, a final friendly against Hanover. And Rodrigo scores in a fifth minute for us, which is very nice indeed. Um, puts us a 1-0 lead over uh, Hanover. And for a preseason friendly, for Rodrigo to get the uh, the experience that he's, he is in these preseason friendlies, that would be amazing. Just to get used to the team and, and just to see how they play like normal. And Lampard also gets a goal, which I was very proud of because he... Um, he ends up giving us, it just for Lampard to be 34 and with his amazing shot and stuff as well, um, I think he'll be a quality player. I'm not going to get rid of him. There's no way I'll let him retire with the club, um, which is amazing. But Romeo there goes actually on loan uh, to Stoke, I believe that was, uh, which gives us an extra 7000 to to use on wage budget, but that's not really going to make a difference. But anyway, guys, this um, episode is actually coming to an end. Now, look at that. Right, eight weeks Oscar is out for. Eight weeks Oscar is out for. That sucks. Right, I, I was really upset with that. I was like, oh, no. Eight weeks, really? But um, 
either way, we've still got matter to go in the likes of, of that. And then if if he does end up, if the assistant manager at any point does end up putting like him in centre back or uh, centre back uh, CDM, I've still got the likes of uh, Lampard to put there as well. So I wanted to put give myself a little bit more wage budget, and I wanted to go back to see whether I could pick up Alaba, and um, I think I to I did end up submitting a new offer just to see whether it accept, but I can't quite remember if he did, um, which was a quite bad thing, and I don't think you'd actually see it in this episode, guys, but um, anyway, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you did, you did see it, uh, yeah, he did accept it, and we just picked Alaba up, uh, which is very nice, so we've actually picked up, I believe, Alaba now, uh, Rodrigo, uh, a couple of, uh, Kurt Zuma, and a couple of other players I can't quite remember, but anyway, guys, this episode is coming to an end, in the next episode, you will see the Community Shield versus Man City, uh, which I'm very, very glad for, and I actually just went ahead and accepted that for Paulo Vieira, because he's 33, and I did want to get rid of him, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see